You'll recall that wicking was one of the marketing terms used in the early 2000s on new products with moisture management claims. Wicking tests were commonly used long before moisture management claims occurred on textile products. However, there was no standardized procedure. Efforts were finally undertaken to standardize a wicking test method. Discussions found that both vertical and horizontal wicking measurements could help quantify some moisture management properties. AATCC Test Method 197, Vertical Wicking of Textiles, 2011, is a method that allows for the measurement of the distances and times water can move upward along and through a vertically aligned specimen. Vertical wicking is a simple test procedure. A specimen with marked distances submerged into water and the speed and distance the water moves upward, wicks, is recorded. A specimen or specimens marked with a water-soluble ink at 5 mm increments is positioned above a flask containing distilled water. The test method allows for the use of multiple specimens to be tested at the same time, as well as different units of distances, such as millimeters or centimeters. When the water level is raised to reach the lower edge of the specimen, the water migration is observed. If using a multiple specimen apparatus, Specimens are put into the distilled water tank at the same time. When the water migrates to the 5 mm level where the water-soluble ink is and spreads upwards along the specimen length, timing begins. When the 2 cm ink line is breached, when the water-soluble ink spreads, the time is recorded. Likewise, the time is recorded when or if the 15 cm line is reached. The test is terminated if the 2 cm line is not reached in 5 minutes, or if the 15 cm line is not reached in 30 minutes. In either case, the time and distance are measured when the test is stopped. This allows for the calculation of wicking rates, the time to a given distance for a short period or a long period of time. Another option of measurement allowed in this vertical test method is to measure wicking distance at a given time. In this option, timing is started as the water migrates upward. Specimens are marked at increments to facilitate the measurement of distances to which the water rises at the 2-minute and 10-minute intervals. For this option, the test is terminated if water does wick any distance in 10 minutes. The same definition of wicking applies to both vertical and horizontal wicking test method standards. Wicking, noun. In textiles, the movement of a liquid by capillary action along or through a material. Vertical and horizontal just describe the plane in which a test specimen is held during a test. AATCC Test Method 198, Horizontal Wicking of Textiles, 2011, starts with the determination of whether a fabric has a hydrophobic and or a hydrophilic side. Interested parties would agree as to whether one or both sides of a fabric should be tested. Regardless of the side to be tested, the fabric must absorb the full volume of the test liquid without pooling on the surface or dripping through the fabric specimen. For test method 198, five 200 by 200 millimeter specimens aligned with the length and width direction of the fabric sample are used. A 100 millimeter diameter circle is drawn in the center of each specimen using a pen with soluble ink. An automatic 10 milliliter pipette is set up to deliver one milliliter of water in 10 seconds. The specimen is secured into a 152 millimeter diameter embroidery hoop. The specimen would be placed on top of a two liter beaker or the hoop placed on a level surface. The tip of the pipette is positioned 10 millimeters above the specimen surface so that the water will be dispensed in the center of the 100 millimeter diameter circle. Timing begins when the pipette stopcock is opened, starting the water flow onto the specimen surface. The water movement across the surface of the specimen is watched. The test is stopped when the water reaches any section of the 100 millimeter circle or five minutes without any water reaching the drawn circle. The time is recorded and the distances the water has reached in the length and width directions are measured. It should be noted that the water may not move outward equally in every direction. 
That is to say, the water movement will not always be in a perfect circle, so it's important to measure the distances in both fabric specimen directions. From the distances measured and the time recorded, the wicking rate in square millimeters is calculated.